Have you ever paused in your garden and wondered what's really happening beneath the surface, beyond the flowers, vegetables, and trees we admire above ground? Beneath every step lies a hidden world, older than forests, older than humankind itself, a world that quietly fuels nearly every thriving ecosystem on Earth. It's the realm of mycorrhizal fungi, microscopic threads that form vast underground networks, linking plant roots together like a living internet. Through these threads, plants share water, nutrients, and even chemical signals, creating an unseen community beneath our feet. Most gardeners know fungi exist, but few realize how powerful they are or how quickly they can multiply when given the right encouragement. Today, I'm going to share the simple thing I poured into my soil that set off an explosion of fungal growth. So dramatic it changed the way my plants looked, rooted, and thrived. And the best part? It doesn't involve costly products or harsh chemicals. The secret lies in unlocking what's already there, waiting to wake up. 1. Why mycorrhizal fungi matter so much now? Before I reveal exactly what I poured into my soil, Let's take a step back and understand why these fungi matter in the first place. Because once you see how they work, you'll realize they are not just helpers. They are the very foundation of life in the soil. These tiny organisms form what scientists call a symbiotic partnership with plant roots. Imagine a handshake that has been going on for over 400 million years, long before humans ever planted a garden. The fungi send out delicate filaments called hyphae into the soil. These threads reach far beyond what roots can ever touch. In return, the plant pays them with sugars made during photosynthesis. Now here's where it gets truly amazing. Just one teaspoon of healthy soil can contain miles, yes, miles of these fungal threads. Think of them as highways under the soil, transporting phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and even tiny trace minerals like zinc and copper. All of these are essential for plant health, but roots alone cannot access them efficiently. And the relationship doesn't stop there. This isn't just a transaction, it's a network. In fact, scientists often call it the wood wide web. That's because trees, grasses, and even the smallest seedlings are plugged into this underground internet. Through it, they share water, nutrients, and even chemical warning signals. Picture this, a mother tree in a forest, towering high above, with access to plenty of sunlight. Through fungal connections, she can literally send sugars to her shaded seedlings below. That's right, the fungi become the bridge of generosity, allowing life to flourish even in difficult conditions. So what does this mean for your backyard garden? When mycorrhizal fungi thrive, plants become more drought resistant, more nutrient efficient, and more resilient against diseases. You don't need as much fertilizer, you don't need to water as often. And slowly your soil changes from lifeless dirt into a living, breathing ecosystem. And here's the key takeaway. If you want a garden that doesn't just survive but truly thrives, mycorrhizal fungi are not optional. They are essential. 2. The problem. Why so many gardens lack fungi? Now if fungi are so powerful, why don't we see this miracle happening in every single garden? The answer is simple. Most modern gardening practices unintentionally destroy fungal life. Think about this. Every time we till or dig deeply, we are ripping apart delicate fungal threads, like tearing cobwebs stretched across the soil. Once broken, these networks can take months, even years, to rebuild. Next, consider synthetic fertilizers. They might give plants a quick boost, but they actually encourage roots to bypass their fungal partners. Why bother trading sugars with fungi when soluble salts are being spoon-fed right to the roots? Over time, this discourages the very symbiosis plants evolved to rely on. Then we have pesticides and fungicides. Yes, they kill pests and diseases, but they also wipe out fragile beneficial fungi as collateral damage. Even certain organic sprays can harm the microscopic allies we're trying to protect. And here's something many gardeners overlook. Even in organic beds, constant disturbance and leaving soil bare under the hot sun makes life nearly impossible for fungi. Without cover, the soil dries out, heats up, and fungal threads simply die back. That's why so many gardeners look at their soil, see little to no fungal presence, and assume they need to buy expensive inoculants. But here's the good news. In most soils, fungi are already present. They're lying in wait as dormant spores, tiny fragments, or invisible seeds of life. What they need isn't another store-bought product. What they need is the right fuel, 
the right environment and a chance to wake up and multiply. 3. The secret pour that changed everything. So what exactly did I pour into my soil that made the fungi come alive almost overnight? Believe it or not, it wasn't some expensive inoculant or a chemical cocktail. It was a simple mix, just a splash of molasses, combined with a compost extract rich in humic acids. At first, this might sound far too simple to work, but let's break down why it's so effective. Molasses is, at its core, sugar. And here's the thing. Fungi cannot manufacture sugar on their own. They depend entirely on plants to deliver it. By giving them a direct shot of carbohydrates, we're essentially ringing the alarm clock, waking dormant fungi and microbes from their long sleep, priming them for action. Then comes the humic acid, the powerhouse found in mature compost. This isn't just a nutrient, it's a builder of habitat. Humic acids bind essential minerals, buffer soil pH, and create microscopic apartment complexes where fungal threads can settle, spread, and thrive. So together, molasses works as the quick snack, the spark, and humic acids provide the long-term safe house, the structure. With both in place, the underground network doesn't just stir, it erupts, and here's the proof. Within just a few weeks, soil tests showed a surge in fungal colonization far beyond the original baseline. Earthworms flocked to the enriched zones, the soil became looser and easier to crumble, and above ground, plants responded with root systems that were nothing short of explosive. 4. The results in the garden. Now the clearest evidence of this experiment didn't just appear underground. It showed up in the plants themselves. Take tomatoes, for example. Their roots grew so thick and extensive, they spread far beyond the original planting hole, tapping into resources they could never have reached before. Then, look at corn stalks. They stood taller, greener, and showed fewer signs of nutrient stress, even though I hadn't added any traditional fertilizer. And the berry bushes? They flushed with new vigor, sending out shoots and leaves as though they had been rejuvenated after a long rest. This transformation makes perfect sense once you understand the power of fungi. By extending the root system by a factor of 10 or more, fungi give plants a supercharged ability to draw in nutrients and water. Imagine your plant suddenly having 10 times the reach. That's not a small boost. That's a revolution. But here's what impressed me even more. The benefits went far beyond plant growth. The soil itself began to change. Compacted clay started to crumble, holding onto moisture yet draining excess water beautifully. Sandy patches, which used to dry out quickly, now retained moisture longer. And holding it all together was a sticky protein called glomalin, secreted by the fungi, which literally glued soil particles into stable, sponge-like aggregates. This structure did three things every gardener dreams of. It resisted erosion, it balanced air and water, and it locked in nutrients for the long haul. And there's still more. Fungal-dominated soils also discouraged weeds and disease. Annual weeds, which prefer bacterial soils, had less of a foothold. Meanwhile, beneficial fungi colonized root zones so quickly that harmful pathogens had no room to invade. In my treated beds, seedlings suffered less damping off, and diseases like early blight were noticeably less severe. Instead of constantly fighting problems, I could see my soil biology doing the hard work for me. 5. How to try this at home. The beauty of this method is that it's not only powerful, it's also simple and affordable. You don't need fancy equipment, and you don't need to spend a fortune at the garden center. Here's how you can do it yourself. First, mix about one tablespoon of molasses into a gallon of water. Then, gently pour this sweet solution around the base of your plants. It's like giving your soil a quick energy drink that wakes the fungi right up. Next, create a compost extract. All you need to do is soak mature compost in a bucket of water for about 24 hours. After that, Strain the liquid and use it as a soil drench. This carries humic acids and beneficial microbes that will support fungi for the long haul. Apply this combination every few weeks during the growing season, or at least once or twice as a seasonal boost. The cost? Just pennies compared to store-bought fertilizers. But here's the difference. The results don't fade quickly. Instead, they build over time, creating soil that only gets better the longer you nurture it. 6. Beyond molasses, other ways to fuel fungi. Now while molasses and humic acids are a fantastic start, they're not the only tools at your disposal. 
There are several other practices you can add to supercharge your fungal networks and make your soil come alive even more. First, think about mulching. A thick layer of organic mulch, whether it's shredded leaves, straw, or wood chips, acts like a protective blanket. It shields fungal threads from heat and dryness while slowly feeding them as the mulch breaks down. Next, consider cover crops. Plants like clover, rye, or vetch are living partners for fungi. Even when you're not actively growing vegetables, these covers keep fungal networks alive and connected, ready for your next season. Another powerful practice is no-till gardening. By avoiding constant disturbance, you allow fungi to build permanent highways underground. Every time you resist the urge to dig deep, you're giving fungi more time to weave their networks stronger. Then, there's companion planting. Pairing plants that naturally support fungi, like beans alongside corn, creates a synergy that strengthens the entire system. And finally, avoid harsh chemicals whenever you can. Reducing synthetic fertilizers and fungicides helps preserve the delicate balance of life underground. When you combine these practices, you create what ecologists call a fungal dominant soil. The kind of soil that mirrors the health of natural forests and prairies, some of the richest ecosystems on earth. Seven, the bigger picture, regenerative gardening. When fungi take the lead in your soil, something remarkable happens. Your garden begins to free itself from constant outside inputs. No longer do you need repeated fertilizer spikes, endless watering schedules, or costly sprays. Instead, plants gain the ability to reach deeper layers of nutrients, share resources with their neighbors, and build soil that actually improves year after year. This is the heart of regenerative gardening. It's not about maintaining the status quo. It's about creating systems that get stronger with time. Fungi pave the way, and soon after, earthworms move in, microbes diversify, and plants thrive with less effort on your part. And here's what many older gardeners find most rewarding. The work becomes easier. You'll notice your garden feels more effortless, more peaceful, and more alive. Each season builds on the last half, and instead of fighting against nature, you'll feel like you're working alongside it, cooperating with a living network that wants your garden to flourish. 8. Final Thoughts Too often gardeners focus only on what they can add to the soil. Bags of fertilizer, store-bought amendments, endless sprays. But here's the truth. The greatest ally for plant health is already there, underground, just waiting to be awakened. When I poured a little molasses and humic acid into my soil, it didn't just spark fungal growth. It set off a chain reaction that transformed everything. My plants grew stronger, my soil became richer, and my entire view of gardening shifted. Instead of fighting nature, I began to partner with it. And the results spoke for themselves. Healthier plants, bigger harvests, and soil that continues to improve with every passing season. So the next time you step into your garden, pause and remember this. Beneath your feet lies an ancient living network, older than forests, ready to work for you. All it needs is a little encouragement. If this video inspired you, hit the like button, subscribe for more senior-friendly gardening wisdom every week, and share your own stories in the comments. Tell us, have you ever tried waking up the fungi in your soil? Because the future of gardening isn't in chemicals or quick fixes. It's in unlocking the living networks beneath our feet.